So we'll start this one with talking about weather and climate and what does that mean? So weather is short-term changes in um, atmospheric variables. Okay, so that, that, you know, each day we're having weather. Climate is more of the average over a long period of time. So one of the problems with what we're seeing is Earth's average uh, air temperatures are rising and, uh, but others maybe get cooling. So when we talk about global warming or <clears throat> we're not talking about just areas are getting warmer, but areas are, are getting colder, uh, we're seeing extremes and that is the key. All right, so all life is weather related and climate dependent. And so that is uh, one of our principles and so I want you to realize that we have kind of stepped outside that a bit, we, at least we think we have. Um, you know, what we do is we go into our cars and we go into our houses and we turn the air on or the heat on. Uh, just because we do that does not mean that we are separate from all these issues. Um, because again, uh, we are connected to everything. And so when we lose biodiversity, when it becomes hotter, cooler, we have more extreme temperatures, uh, more weather patterns, all of that affects us. So. Uh, this, this idea that we're separate is, is not right. Um, uh, we are dependent on the weather and the climate. All right, so uh, look at climate change. Over, over the last 3.5 billion year history, uh, yes, we've had uh, ice ages and we've had uh, warming trends. Uh, for the last 100,000 years, um, you know, we, we've lived through the, uh, the glaciation, you know, and one of my favorite places, Yosemite, was formed by glaciers. Um, but reality is, uh, and this is where people have issues, you know, people are, oh, you know, life is always changing. But over the last 200 years, uh, it's because of urban growth. And uh, it's been accelerating since 1978. And what happens is if you look at all these, you can see these peaks depending on kind of how you, you measure things. But one of the keys here is this last graph is where you see it all of a sudden that last peak, it just kind of uh, jumps up pretty radically. And, and that is due to human impact <clears throat> on weather patterns. So what are the four major uh, conclusions that have been uh, that the world climate experts have, uh, have decided? Uh, it is changing and it's going to continue unless we act now to, to stop it. And it is human activities. Uh, you know, this is not uh, fake news. It, it is really the release of CO2, probably the most talked about. Uh, but we, we mentioned the other um, greenhouse gases. Uh, average temperature are likely to increase. Uh, and, and if we don't do something, okay. Uh, And then the last thing is immediate and sustained action to curb climate change is possible. We could, we could do it, but it, it really needs to be done in your lifetime. Um, uh, we might be one of the last generations, uh, and we, I mean you, uh, I'm in the last generation, uh, that can actually change things. And so that is what we're looking for. Um, how do we know what is happening now? Um, you know, uh, uh, global surface areas have, have risen 1.7 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, and again, that's not much, you know, uh, I want to make sure you understand we're talking two or three degrees. We're not talking 20. Uh, but it's going to have a long lasting major effect. Uh, 10 of the warmest years have been since 2005 in all of recorded history. Uh, we're looking at glaciation. This is in uh, Montana and you can see the glaciers. Uh, 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 really have kind of subsided. We're losing glaciers. Uh, they're talking glaciers here in California, uh, up in the upper Sierras. Those are disappearing. Uh, permafrost is, is melting. So the sea levels are rising slowly. Um, greenhouse gases, we're measuring them now and they are going up. And we're seeing uh, uh, species that cannot change their temperatures uh, uh, can't evolve enough to deal, they are migrating to different areas um, to survive. <coughs> Excuse me. So although each uh, region has its own unique climate, climatic conditions are interrelated on a global scale. So, you know, we, all, we, we talk uh, in biology, we talk about microclimates, you know, that this organism needs this little microclimate where they have a certain amount of water and a certain amount of heat and a certain amount of uh, daylight and all those things. 
Well, as they change on a global scale, uh, species don't have the ability maybe to respond. And so we're losing um, um, these things. And, and so the more storms in Florida do, do affect us here in California. Uh, uh, the, the fact that we're having uh, record heat in California, <clears throat> that affects maybe the tropical rainforest. Everything is connected. All right, so the, again, the greenhouse effect is a good thing, uh, or we couldn't live here. Uh, we have this layer that traps in heat that warms the earth, that makes it um, effective for us to live, that makes it, uh, it makes it able for us to live. Problem is we're, we're thickening that layer and we are uh, making it too warm. And again, these are the greenhouse gases. I don't wanna go over them again, but you can see them here. And these are uh, the ones that are primarily causing, causing problems. And we can monitor them. And, and if we're smart, we can even uh, uh, reduce their release. All right, so uh, who is the CO2 villains? <laughs> the three are China, uh, U.S. and India, so there's three, um, and China is definitely the worst, but if you notice um, uh, the little statement, the second statement is per person, uh, the United States are, is worse. The, the reason China is winning, uh, if, if we call this winning, uh, is because they have so many people, uh, but if you were to, to, to break it down person to person release of CO2, uh, we would win. And so um, you're all going to die. <laughs> That's all I got to say. And we'll stop the recording.